If we're sticking with classic Las Vegas odds, then you know the saying that the third time's a charm. UNLV will be entering year three of the Tony Sanchez era, and with 12 returning starters, the Rebels are hoping to make a climb in the standings. Hi, I'm Cassie Soto, inside the Mountain West Network studio. Here's what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the UNLV Rebels. A healthy Devontae Boyd could be the lifeline for the Rebels offense. The senior receiver's 2016 season was cut short due to an arm injury, but he will return this year with hopes of breaking a few school records. Boyd has the potential to become the first player to lead UNLV in receptions four times in a single career and needs only 866 yards to top the school's all-time receiving yard record and 1,005 yards would put Boyd atop the Mountain West record book for receiving yards. Devontae Boyd's a great young man. He, he's a hard worker. He's doing a great job in the classroom. And that was one of the biggest things. But, you know, he was a great player when we got here, and we challenged his work ethic a little bit. But then also off the field, and I'll tell you what, the way he's attacked the academic environment, becoming a really well-rounded person, it's just been fun to be a part of and see. And I'm excited to watch him. I'm excited to coach him. But as a fan, too, I'm excited to watch him have a tremendous year and really lead us to some great things and have some great personal accomplishments. Also looking to get his fair share of touches on the field is junior running back Lexington Thomas. The 5'9", 170-pound back has speed on his side and is looking to follow up his eight rushing touchdowns last season. Thomas also turned in three straight 100-yard rushing games a year ago. He's a dog in my eyes. Like he competes on every play. Um, you know you're going to get your all out of Lex. Even though he's small, I mean, he's 175 pounds then you know you're going to get the whole 175 pounds out of him. You're not going to hold anything back. Lexington Thomas has uh, been an extremely explosive guy since we, we've gotten to UNLV, and uh, we're excited he's going into his junior year. He's already moving his way up on the all-time you know, rusher list, and he's the big home run guy. I mean, he's the guy who will make you miss in stage, can do some really nifty things out of the backfield, and with the addition of Charles Williams and him, it's a heck of a one-two punch. So I'm really excited about Lexington and the year he's going to have. Defensive lineman Mike Hughes is ready to take on his role as a leader, being one of only two returning starters on the UNLV D-line. Hughes enters his final season as a Rebel with a team-high nine career tackles for loss and looks to follow up his career high of 37 total tackles. You know, now watching him develop just as a leader and as a tough guy, you know, um, we expect him to be an all-Mountain West guy, we expect him to be a team captain, and he's one of those guys that we really need to lead on, uh, lean on, and he'll help those young guys. I put basically the defense on my shoulder, as well as the rest of the team whenever I need to. Um, there's, uh, there's some voids to fill in defense right now. we got two returning starters, so now the people are going to be looking to, uh, you know, for that guy to step up and make some, uh, make some plays and also be on the sideline whenever things do go on to get everybody to get that mindset like, you know, next play, let's keep playing. UNLV opens up the new season at home versus Howard on September 2nd, but the big game to keep an eye on is the matchup against Ohio State on September 23rd in Columbus. It's exciting, obviously, that'll be the third game of the season for us, and you get a chance to go to Ohio State, go to the Horseshoe, uh, play against a great staff and a great team. They'll be preseason probably one, two, or three, and um, it'll be interesting to see how things shake out by the time we get there. But we're excited, you know. We've played in some great venues the last couple years, going to play Michigan at the Big House, playing in the Rose Bowl against UCLA, now getting to go to play um, Ohio State, and that'll be a great game. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a great opportunity for us. We get to go out in front of, uh, I'm pretty sure there's probably 100,000 people there and show on a national scale that we can, you know, compete with those guys. There's a lot of optimism with UNLV football this year, especially on the offensive side of the ball, where 9 of 11 starters return, including a receiving core that is expected to put up some big numbers. That, of course, depends on redshirt freshman quarterback Armani Rogers, who has a lot of accolades coming in, but has not taken a snap yet in college football. If he's able to deliver, the Rebels should put a lot of points on the board. On the defensive side of the ball, it's a complete overhaul for this unit where only two of 11 starters return. If the Rebels can shore up their defense, then they expect to possibly be in conversation for a bowl game by the end of the season. Thanks, Kevin. Once again, UNLV will host Howard on September 2nd. From the Mountain West Network studio, I'm Cassie Soto.